Are you working full time? Do you feel like there's just no way for you to ever even find enough time to learn code? Well, if that is you, go ahead and check out this video. See you guys after the intro. What is up YouTube? I hope you guys like some of that drone footage. If you have been a long time subscriber, you know that I started this channel with vlogs. I used to do vlogs about five days a week, sometimes seven days a week, which is kind of crazy. Um, I used to do drone footage and cinematic footage all the time, but I don't do them as much as I used to. But if you're one of those old time OG subscribers, make sure you leave a comment below, like this video too, let me know that you've been here for a while, I'd really appreciate that man. But today, what I do want to talk about are for the people who are in this specific situation, which I used to be in as well. Um, if you're anything like me, you are an adult, maybe you're not, right, maybe you, you well, I mean, you're 18 and old, maybe you're working full time, you're over 21 years old, uh, you feel like there's no way for you to have time to learn code because you're working full time. Maybe not even just that, maybe there are other responsibilities. I know people who are working three jobs, right? Three jobs and still were able to become a developer. But I do understand that there may be times when you feel like there's no hope. I do understand what there may be times when you feel like, should I just give up? I, I can't understand or see me understanding even enough code to get a job in just a couple of months, if not a year or so. That is why I'm making this video. Now, if you go back to a couple of videos that I made a while ago, I'm not sure if I could dig this up, but it's from a while ago. It's one of my very first videos. Um, I was talking to this one homie of mine. His name is Omar, but I'll go ahead and I'll show a clip right now. Uh huh. How were you really able to do that? In Get a job? Three months. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I, I pretty much said. Like, was, was it really three months? Like, no, it was three months. I'm serious. The fact that my, my life changed in a matter of just three months, it's it's amazing in how my life changed. And the fact that knowing that my story are encouraging people like Omar and you guys to continue to try to learn code and you know have a better future too, uh, it reminds me why I'm doing this. So in this video, when we're talking, actually there's a lot of details I didn't show in the video, um, where we talked about how he was actually working three jobs. He was DJing, he was, I believe he was working in a restaurant and somewhere else too. And he just felt like, Chris, I don't know if I could learn enough code to get a job in the industry soon. Because you have to understand, he's working three jobs, he works late night shifts, his, his sleeping schedule was way off, and he was on, just pretty much asking a legitimate, honest question, like, do I really have enough time to learn code? And I think this is an important question to ask because I'm sure there are a lot of people in the, like trying to get in this industry right now who are in the situation. Well, what he did, right, what he did is that he actually went ahead and even though it took him longer than expected to learn code, even though it took him longer than expected to get in the industry, yes, he eventually got in. He's making way more money than he used to, right? Before, he didn't even have enough money to eat and I felt so bad because I wanted to give him, you know, help him out as much as I could at that time, which is why I made that video and he's out of that situation. Um, he went into conferences in San Francisco already, tech conferences, his company sent him there, but right? he wanted to meet up, but I'm in Southern California, not Northern and his life has completely changed. Now the thing is this, right? Can you do it? Yes, you absolutely can do this. It is definitely possible. Now, you do have to hustle. For me, I was working one job, yes, full time, but I was also doing a lot of things with church, so I didn't have as much free time as people realize, and I still am, right? So a few things you need to understand too, if you're learning code while working full time, is that it will not happen overnight. You have to hustle. There are going to be things that you have to be willing to sacrifice. If you play games, if you're a gamer, and you're working full time, and you're trying to juggle between coding and gaming, I'm gonna tell you this hands down, you need to stop gaming. I know I will get some negative comments like, did Chris just say stop gaming? Yes, I did. Why? Honestly, the games you're playing now will probably not be as popular in two or three years, right? And so the games you're playing now, you'll probably get bored of them, and what will you do in a couple months, if not a year or so? You'll buy a new game and play that. Maybe you're a hardcore gamer, and you're gaming like every what? getting new games every two to three months, if not every week or so, right? If you're anything like what I used to do. One thing you have to be able to do 
as someone who's aspiring to get in this industry, especially if you're trying to change a life, is that you have to be able to stop things, not even just gaming. You have to be able to put things down that really will not benefit your future. I'm not gonna lie, why? Because I was a hardcore World of Warcraft gamer, CSGO player. I love that game so much. CSGO, I've been playing since I was 13, right? I'm turning 31 this year. I've been playing it for such a long time. But even gaming was something I had to drop down as well. Why? Because I knew how much I loved gaming compared to coding. Gaming's more fun, I'm not gonna lie, right? But you have to, one thing you have to take into account is what will help your future, gaming or coding? Or whatever it is, whether if it's, you know, I don't know, maybe it's hang out with your friends. Now, I'm not saying don't hang out with your friends, but if you're the type of person where your only free time, if you're working full time like me, you probably don't have that many free nights because why? If you're married, you have a wife, you have kids. But if you're the type of person where you go out every Monday, Friday, or Saturday, Sunday night, late night until three in the morning, partying every single weekend, or doing things, I don't know what it is, honestly, those things will not benefit your future. Now, hang out with friends, go on dates, man. You better go on dates, right? But you have to be able to understand what will benefit your future the most right now. Now, what I'm saying is this, guys, is if you're willing to study code, let's say you sacrifice going to the club or partying for a year or so, hang out late night with some friends or going to the gaming cafe or gaming till late night, you could be studying code. You think about it. Let's say you're at the club Friday, Saturday night, that's what, six hours, eight hours total. If you put in eight hours in code, you within eight to 20, if not 30 hours, you would be able to understand the basics, the basic foundations of HTML. Let's say if you did that every single weekend, you get down CSS, you get into JavaScript, you'd be able to understand these things, being able to sacrifice what's not as important for what's important because it will help benefit your future. Like you have to be able to understand what you need to do to get there. And the reason I'm saying this is that honestly, when I started coding two years ago, maybe two and a half years now, wow, it's been a while, two to two and a half years now, I had friends who were interested in learning code. Right. I had friends who really wanted to get in the industry because they saw how much it changed my life. So I gave them the access to Treehouse. I even I was willing to even pay for their accounts. But even though they had this access, one of them still has access to this account. But you know, he's been paying for Treehouse over and over again. But he never learned, and it blows my mind because in the situation that he's in now, he's struggling. Um, you know, car problems. Um. You know, he struggles financially, and he, you know, whenever we hang out, they'll just say things like, "Chris, you're the one that's a developer. Can you pay for my ticket?" And it's like. Man, even if he started two years ago, if he studied code consistently for two straight years, at this point, people will be trying to hire him from right to left. Why? Because of how much he's able to code and how much he's able to grasp too. Being willing to sacrifice things that will not benefit your future. And honestly, that's one of the biggest hurdles you'll have to overcome, right? Last but not least, right, what I want to talk about is being consistent. I know of mothers who learn code while being a full-time mom, which is not easy. You have to keep your eye on the kid consistently, right? And not even just imagine the, ma the amount of energy you have to put in to take care of your children full-time and cook for your husband and help the family, etc. right? She learned a treehouse while doing all of this. She said the one thing that helped her the most is that she stayed consistent. And this is a success story, and that's why I want to share this too. She said you just have to be consistent. Even if it's 15 minutes a day, at least that's 15 minutes more of code that you know now than before, than yesterday, than 30 minutes ago, than an hour ago, than two hours ago. You just have to stay consistent. It's okay if something does not make sense, right? But with the, the short amount of time you have working 40, 50, 60 hours a week already, if not two or three jobs, with the short amount of time you have to even learn code, one thing you have to be able to do is stay consistent every single day. Because if not, and because you don't have that much time to learn code, everything you're doing to learn code will be for vain because you're going to forget everything. That is the two things I recommend, man. When it comes to learning code while working full time, is it possible? It is definitely possible. I did it. So you just have to be able to sacrifice what you need to, in order to help you hustle that much more into the coding industry. Secondly, make sure that you are consistent. Anyway, those are the two tips I have for today, guys. I wanted to make today a short video. But anyway, if you guys like this video, I would really appreciate it if you could go ahead and like it. Leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Are you working full time too? Let me know there as well. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video going live tomorrow, Friday. This is Chris Sean. This is Life for Developer. And I'm out. Peace. in the night thinking how we used to be way back in time in time hey guys what's up so i'm trying to do something a little different so with this igtv right now 
What I'm gonna try to do is actually do vlogs on here like I used to do on my YouTube channel, but I stopped doing that. Before we do this, man, I have to have an intro. I will do anything just to get you back again. I will do anything at all. I know I'm not innocent. You deserve a better man. But let me just hold your hand once more. Ooh, 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 ooh. I wanna take you out. 